Hey, Walking Dead fans, this is another news video. It's the first of the year, 2019. Hope everyone had great holidays and definitely hope everyone has a great and awesome year. And this year's gonna be full of zombies, not only because the second half of season nine is coming back for The Walking Dead, season 10 will come out this year, and the last season of Game of Thrones is coming out. I'm definitely a big fan of that show and can't wait for it. It's last season and it'll be full of some Walking Dead as well. Okay, first, remember that scene with Negan standing in front of everybody knelt down, and it's when we first met Negan. They're out in the woods. That whole speech he gave, it lasted a long time. Of course, that same scene was in the comic book, and there was a lot more cussing from Negan than there was in the show, and of course, it's television, and maybe can't do as much cussing on regular cable. But this scene has been coming back around on Reddit, and it has all of his cuss words in it. And I'll leave a link in the description below to that scene if you want to see it. But it definitely changes the feel, the overall feel of when Negan was given that speech when you add all the cuss words in. So check that out at the link below. But The Walking Dead was the biggest show of 2018 and the most pirated, the most downloaded show of 2018. And this is mainly, I mentioned Game of Thrones before, this is mainly because Game of Thrones did not have a single episode in 2018. But I bet at the end of 2019, Game of Thrones will probably rise back up and claim the title. But in really big news from The Walking Dead, we're having another crossover. Yep, another character from The Walking Dead is crossing over to Fear the Walking Dead. And if you guys have watched many videos on the channel, you probably know that I'm not a huge fan of Fear the Walking Dead. I enjoyed seasons one through three okay, but season four, I'm kind of trying to forget. But anyway, the crossover is coming and it's going to be Dwight. Dwight has already left the Mothership show in the form of Daryl, banning him from the area, saying, if I ever see you again, I'll kill you. So once Dwight left, we were wondering, is he coming back? What's going to happen? We heard the actor say at one of the cons that he's definitely alive. He knows he's alive out there somewhere in the Walking Dead universe. He's going to be on the same screen as Morgan. And if you remember, he never interacted with Morgan. I think Morgan probably knows maybe who he is, but Dwight and Morgan never interacted on screen. So I must say, season nine of The Walking Dead has been really great. It's really brought back the fire and the passion, I think, in the show. But Fear the Walking Dead season four started okay, but it just got worse and worse and worse for me. And the last half was kind of unbearable. And I know you guys in the comments, there's been a bunch of you guys say that you really liked season four. And that's okay. They're going to have a season five. It just makes me wonder. I think it's the same writers and showrunners. It makes me wonder, are they just going to continue the crap that was in the last half of season four? And you know, season four was like this soft reboot. So I really doubt they're going to try to reboot it again. But it does make me wonder what the storyline will be, where they may be at in the country. And is Dwight going to be a good guy partnering with Morgan? I just kind of feel bad for Lenny James, who plays Morgan. And now I kind of feel bad for Emilio. But I guess it is good to have an ongoing job. Emilio did say that he gets to have a consistent job and work with amazing people. He said he loves the memories from the show The Walking Dead. He's been blessed of being able to work with actors from Alexandria and The Saviors. And now he gets to work with the actors from Fear the Walking Dead. He actually says he feels really blessed. And I do believe that Fear the Walking Dead will start shooting Season 5 in Austin, Texas on Monday. And critics have been telling Robert Kirkman that his stories are repetitive. And he come back and said all TV is repetitive. And he's got a point, but then again, the critics have kind of a point as well. It's the group meets a villain, fight the villain, win, repeat. But really, that's like almost any TV show with heroes and villains. It's very rare that a villain lasts several seasons. And in a lot of shows, especially cop shows, the villain only lasts one episode. And then there's a new case, a new bad guy, next episode. So I guess Robert Kirkman definitely does recycle villains, fighting, kill the villain, move on, next villain. And not all villains are, wow, that's the coolest villain ever. But at least in The Walking Dead Season 9, we're coming upon the Whispers, and I'm very excited about that. To me, 
pretty cool villain. There was a select panel of Fear the Walking Dead actors and the Walking Dead actors at the recent uh, Wizard World in New Orleans. It's another Comic-Con type thing. And Michael Cudlitz, who played Abraham on The Walking Dead, was on the panel. And he made a mention of, will we? I think someone asked him, will we see him again? And he said the way that we could see him again is through a flashback. And since some Fear the Walking Dead characters were there, he said, I guess on your guys' show, there were some tapes that were shown. And one of the tapes said, Abe slash Doctor, which could be Abraham Ford and Dr. Eugene Porter. So they certainly could go down that road, not saying that they said anything about it or not, but probably not. So I think we'll stop talking about that. Never mind. So he definitely went ask. He definitely threw out a scenario that could be possible. And, you know, when I was talking about Austin Emilio and Lenny James and feeling sorry for them that they went to Fear the Walking Dead and season four was so bad, in my opinion, I was really thinking, would Michael Cudlitz do that? Go to Fear the Walking Dead knowing that it's not the greatest show at the moment. And even though he said they're not talking about it, it's probably not true, it probably won't happen, it did sound like he would entertain the idea. Because the co-showrunner of Fear the Walking Dead, Ian Goldberg, he said on a, uh, The Talking Dead that the labels wasn't a coincidence, noting each of those tapes, each of those labels will tell a story. But Michael Cudlitz has directed an episode in Season 9 of The Walking Dead, and I think he's interested in also directing an episode of Fear the Walking Dead, and even more episodes in the future of both. But that's going to be it for this news video. I'm going to keep it short. There are some other news topics that I'm actually going to make an entire video on its own. There's definitely some Rick and The Walking Dead movies that he's going to be in, some news on that, and I'm going to make a video just for that. And in the next few videos, I'll be giving out some of the comment requests. I've been requested several times to do reviews of the entire seasons. That'll begin soon. And many, many more videos to come. So as always, thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe for more dead stuff.